Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the WordPress and how you can auto deploy by using the GitHub Actions uh, and use the Workflows folder. It's very easy and if you want to auto uh, create Docker images and, and don't need to build it locally every time, then it's, it's very useful to know that uh, part. And I think when you're a free user you get around 2000 minutes. Uh, else it's, it's not so expensive, I think $5 or something like that. If you're working in the company where you already have the Teams account, then you can just uh, use it right up the way. So that's what we're going to speak about today and I'll show you that uh, one by one. And I will uh, 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 expect you are in the root, uh, root folder and uh, that's very important all the, the github actions will be in the root folder and not in the subfolders like it will be inside uh, for this when you download the code from github so that's what we're going to work with uh, and uh, let's go and start but before we are starting i really hope you want to enjoy to subscribe my channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner and uh, if you have any questions please make a comment below i would love to answer them thank you so much and uh, let's go ahead uh, the first we're going to do is uh, creating the a git folder here, say github, and then we call it workflows, and we call it deploy.yaml. That's the file name we need to work with the with the YAML files, and then inside we need the name for for this action. We can just say deploy Docker image, and when I'm working with the with this, I love to have my own ENVs, so it's easier to, to know what, what's going on and, and that. So let's say Docker Ripple, um, and, uh, and Docker Registry. I just moved around, and here you say your registry and your repo and then we want to say what did you listen on we, we don't we want to listen on push and of course you can say you want to listen on pull request and something like that but this is not a full tutorial about how you can work with the git actions this is how we can get out deployed up and running with with, with this uh, wordpress project so so you have many different you can just uh, looking on the on the documentation and, and github actions very very huge and you can do very much so why not uh, take a look if you love this way to code and we want to listen on main main is the main uh, repository uh, the master is in the old days but you know master and slave all the weird stuff with live uh, black live web matters i'm totally agree with that but it's i think it's uh, taking too too long when when names in developer world need to be changed and something like that. but but yeah if it works for people and people don't get angry it's work for me i don't care about the names of course so then we're going for the jobs and docker build push and we want to run runs on the ubuntu uh, last that's meaning we're running on the last image from Ubuntu uh, based on the Docker's setup on the github setup sorry and then we want to define which step we are running in now so right now we have the ENVs and we have the the push branch and then we have the, the jobs on, on it and now we need to create the steps and the first we want to use that should be actions and check out and use version 2 that's meaning it's taking the repository and then check it out uh, for you are ready to use and then we need to name this is want uh, to run the docker image so we say docker build that's the id and what we're going to run here should be docker build and then we need the tag and uh, we need env docker 
registry just copy this to be sure and uh, then we need this one and main that's the tag we want and we want the ripple and we need the main main file of them then we going down here and say the next one should be name and we say login to docker hub that's what we're gonna do and the docker login action e1 and we're going inside here and say username password and then we want to build the secrets and secrets it's oops secrets is something from docker uh, not, not from docker sorry from from github and that's meaning we need to create that secrets uh, after we are done with the file and i will show you how it's working both on on, uh, on the company level and on the private level so that's what we're going to do so let's say docker hop uh, username and i'm expect you have two factor on your on your docker hop so that's why we call it token but you can call it password if you're using the clean password but i will not recommend you to using production stuff with uh, without the two factor and then we need to push it to docker and then run it here and we just say docker push and we just copy this one we'll just copy it again yes and then everything here it's it's run pretty good so if you have this file then you can uh, just change your registry that's your username for docker and that's the project you want to work with or the registry you want so you can use your private uh, user and push it up for your company based on the username and password here should be to you uh, to you too so yeah then the next we're gonna do now i cannot test this for you so let me know if i've built some wrong and i need to change that of course but i don't think so uh we will go for for the company uh, area in docker hub so that's what we're gonna do so to so go for your browser and uh and going for github so when you're on your company git then you can just going for for settings and below down we have secrets here and the secrets you have different uh, secrets you can use i have public secrets that's meaning i have uh, i can create an invitable but you can just click on new uh, secret and then you can say about public or private or selected repository it's basically what you want but but private is meaning you need to pay and all my code for, for this one it's open source so for me it's not a big deal and here you can put inside the secret and what the secrets could, should contain so that's how you can work with the in the company uh, level and uh, now we want to the private one so let's uh, let's do this when you're here you can just change uh, like uh, video tutorials php and then i can just go into the settings and then going for secrets and it's working basically on the same way i have environment secrets and repository secrets and uh, i can just put it here what what i want the docker hub username and token and then put in what i, what I need so that's basically how that's working uh, so yeah that's how you can do this and the next step is you're just uh, pushing up the, the project and uh, from the main uh, brands and and then it's working and you will see everything here in the interaction and now it's saying we don't have anything but it's all working and you can see the flow and it's working pretty nice so give it a try and i really hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you next time and don't forget all the, the code will be on my github so don't forget to download that and, and make it a star here and uh, yeah 
Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.